What is up everybody, here I am back with another video, and today, the final video which I have delayed for a good while, the how to do PQ145 uh, on the new DLC of Pycon and Topo. Now, first of all you're going to be fighting Frost and Kaba, you know, pretty two pretty easy enemies, you know, as you can see, Frost two hits, I usually use, t I use Pycon, obviously, and two Topos, just to show off the new characters as well, and there was two Pycons, so that would be pretty smart. And then after that you're going to be fighting Kefla, it's a little delayed when I said that. Uh, Ribrian, Kefla and Hit. Now Ribrian is the normal one. Uh, what's what happened here? Double ultimate here. And then Hit tries going in for the time skip Molotov. Alright, yeah, beat your ass bro. Alright, as you can see, you know my skill, you know, knocking Ribrian back, taking out Kefla. I think she can easily play in. Nah, I'm the real ultimate leader, right? Yeah, look at Pycon. I'm glad they brought Pycon into the game, he's definitely one of the nicest characters they brought out. I'm loving- Oh, he's just such a good character. Not as good as Topo in my opinion, but I reckon- I think pa Topo might be better for PvP, but Pycon is just a better, like a cooler character. Alright, so first of all when you take out Kefla, Ribian and Hit, there's no particular order. As you can see, Hit is already taken out. I didn't really want him to die first, but it's what happened. And then basically after taking out them three, you're going to be fighting Topo and Jiren. Now, Top 1 G Red, obviously two of the strongest characters in the game, but no no worries, it's probably one easier because, well, let me, let me put it this way, there's less of them, there's not three people, there's two people, so there's four, two against two. Topo, you know, he doesn't, in this vision he doesn't really spam, which is good, except, no, he spam grabs. G Ren obviously is, is G Ren, so, you know, he's bound to get hit by a couple of his own attacks. <laughs> See, look, he just perfect blocked my, my, my super. He perfect blocked my super attack. The chances of that happening against me by a lot. Alright, Zeno's not happy, so eventually you're going to be fighting Frieza, Goku, and Pycon will eventually leave your team. So there's no reason to keep his health over a certain point or nothing like that. So there's Pycon, Goku, and... Yeah, Pycon, Goku, and Frieza. Uh... And eventually, after when you beat Goku up a certain point, I think more than half his health, he'll eventually say, nah, 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 you know what, fuck you. And then he starts transforming into Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken. Not exactly sure what Kaioken, but could just be Kaioken. Right, after that part, you know, I took out Goku first, because uh, he's got no more transformations after that. Yeah, after that he's got no more transformations, so it's just Golden Freezer and Pycon. Pycon is very easy, obviously he's not Golden Freezer and Goku Blue level, so yeah, obviously of course he's easy. But he's actually pretty good, easy in this Pike, uh, PK. His moves are good though, I like his um, his uh, Thunder, no, Burning Shot, I like his Burning Shot a lot. It's definitely in my opinion his best move. It's definitely one of the coolest ones in the game. I don't particularly use it, but I got a few ideas of which characters and like skill move sets and stuff I'm gonna use it for. I, what's targeting me? I still don't understand. Yeah, but yeah, that's how you do it. You know, obviously if you did enjoy, like and subscribe, and of course I'll see you on the next one. Peace.